Time now for Eyewitness News called 12 for Action. In the summer heat, staying safe in the sun is a top priority. But if you buy your sunscreen based on its SPF rating, you may not be getting the protection you're expecting. And new testing reveals not every sunscreen meets the SPF claims. Consumer reporter Susan Hogan joins us now with the details. That's right. Many sunscreen SPF ratings are fooling consumers, making them think they have a certain level of protection from the sun's harmful rays after testing. These products reveal a much lower level of protection than promised on the labels. Bailey Pareda depends on sunscreen to keep her skin protected from the hot sun. Whole body, everything. And anything that the sun is touching, I wear sunscreen on my face every day. Even my makeup has sunscreen in it. Many people choose their sunscreen based on the SPF factor. Usually I like to aim for 15 to 30, but I prefer a higher number. But according to new testing by Consumer Reports, you may not be getting the bottle's promised protection. About a third of the sunscreens that we tested this year did not meet their SPF claims. SPF measures how well a sunscreen protects your skin from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. Of the 34 sunscreens tested by Consumer Reports, 11 did not meet their SPF claims. Consumer Reports' Trisha Calvo says that could lead to false sense of security. For consumers. When you have something that's an SPF 30 and it tests at a below an SPF 15, that's worrisome because you're getting less protection than what most dermatologists and experts recommend. Experts say that's why it's important to reapply sunscreen and the best way to protect your skin is to limit your time in the sun. Now, these sun protection products that do not stand up to their claims are forcing consumers to really take extra precautions when staying out in the sun. It may be a good idea to shoot for a higher SPF rating and reapply frequently for proper sun protection. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm consumer reporter Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.